Hello, everybody. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> President Fernandez and I just had an excellent conversation. We, we first met uh, and I think forged a good working relationship and friendship uh, at the Summit of the Americas last year. And uh, we have built on that relationship, uh, as have our respective administrations, on a whole host of issues. Uh, we had a wide-ranging discussion. Uh, one of the first messages I wanted to deliver was my appreciation for the role that the Dominican Republic played in uh, helping the inter international community respond to the crisis in Haiti after the devastating earthquake. There. And I think that uh, the Dominican Republic's role, President Fernandez's role in particular, in helping to facilitate uh, a rapid response uh, was extraordinarily important. It saved lives, uh, and it continues uh, as we look at how we can reconstruct and rebuild uh, in Haiti in a way that uh, is good not only for the people of Haiti, but also good for uh, the region as a whole. Uh, that was just one example of the leadership that uh, President Fernandez has shown. Uh, he and his government have been extremely helpful in resolving the political crisis that existed in Honduras, uh, and we discussed ways that we can manage that process so that uh, Honduras can once again be fully integrated into the uh, regional groupings and organizations uh, and uh, in a way that is respectful of democracy. And we coordinated closely between our two countries on that issue. Uh, we discussed uh, the critical issue of drug trafficking uh, and crime and how that has the potential to be destabilizing throughout the region. And uh, we have already seen great cooperation between our countries uh, through the Caribbean Basin Security Initiative, but more needs to be done. And so President Fernandez and I discussed uh, how we can do a better job coordinating uh, through multinational groupings to address what is a scourge on so many countries. Uh, and that involves us dealing both with the supply side of the equation, but also the demand side. Uh, and as I've said before uh, in conversations, for example, with uh, President Calderon in Mexico, uh, we here in the United States have an important obligation to make sure that we are dealing with uh, uh, the demand of drugs. Uh, there are also cross-border flows that involve guns uh, and weapons and cash, uh, so that the, the problem involves all of us, and if we're going to solve it, we're going to have to work uh, coordinating uh, together. Uh, and we also talked about how, uh, working together, we can uh, expand trade opportunities, commercial opportunities, business opportunities. One area that I expressed to the President that uh, is of particular interest to me is clean energy. Uh, you know, last year when I met with President Lula of Brazil, I noted that Brazil had made enormous progress around clean energy, uh, sugarcane-based ethanol, uh, the possibilities of real energy independence uh, in the region. Uh, I think uh, those same opportunities exist uh, for the Dominican Republic. And, uh, President Fernandez and I discussed how we can uh, work uh, more closely together uh, around energy security issues, uh, something that my administration is very interested in partnering with Central America and Latin American countries uh, to work on. So uh, the main message I have to the people of the Dominican Republic uh, is thank you uh, for your friendship. Uh, I think the American people uh, appreciate greatly uh, the bonds between our two countries, uh, bonds that express themselves, obviously, in an uh, extraordinary uh, Dominican population, Dominican-American population that we have here in this country. Uh, and uh, obviously, uh, I've got a note that uh, we got some pretty good baseball players here uh, from the Dominican Republic. Uh, but uh, uh, for some reason, I've got a lot of Red Sox fans here, so we keep on talking about Ortiz, but I'm a, I'm a White Sox guy. Uh, but uh, Mr. President, welcome. Thank you for your friendship, and uh, we look forward to uh, a long and constructive uh, relationship between not only our countries, but our two governments. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> well, first of all, I would like uh, to thank uh, President Obama uh, for this kind of invitation to come here to the White House and speak on issues that are of mutual interest for the U.S. Uh, government and for the Dominican Republic. 
as the President has indicated, we have agreed on several issues, some bilateral issues between the U.S. and the Dominican Republic, and also on uh, regional issues. We do appreciate, Mr. President, that uh, with all you have on your agenda, with all the uh, international issues, with all the crisis, with the economic situation that's affecting worldwide, you have put uh, on your agenda uh, the Caribbean, Latin America, and the Dominican Republic. I think this is uh, uh, evidence that you do have an interest for the region and the problems that affect uh, not only the Dominican Republic, but the region as a whole. Uh, as you have indicated, one of our major concerns has to do with drug trafficking, with transnational crime, uh, with uh, violence uh, related to uh, all these uh, criminal activities. I think that the uh, Caribbean Basin Security Initiative has been uh, the right path forward. Uh, I commend you for that, Mr. President. And I think now we should move into a more collaborative uh, environment with the other Caribbean nations, Central America, and Mexico. Uh, it is only by coordinating our efforts that we can really defeat uh, this epidemic that uh, has become overwhelming uh, to all of our countries. Whatever we can do uh, uh, from the supply side, as you said, or the uh, demand side, will be of great significance uh, for the safety and security of our people. Uh, other issues, like you said, related to clean energy, we're working on that in the Dominican Republic with wind energy and with the potential production of ethanol uh, in our country. Uh, we'll move on also with trade. We have a free trade agreement uh, between both of our countries, uh, of which we have not benefited fully because of the global financial crisis and how it has affected trade. But uh, we can look into the future, hopefully, that we'll, we'll increase our trade activities and more investment uh, coming from the U.S. Uh, into the Dominican Republic. So once again, Mr. President, I, I thank you for your friendship. I thank you for your vision, for your leadership, and for your commitment to the region of the Dominican Republic. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you everybody.